All right guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, I got a little issue going on here now. The other day we were sitting out here, right here, and we were watching this fire. And uh, we were sitting here and kept hearing these like high-pitched noises. Well, realized it was a bat pretty quick. And I'm gonna show you here in just a second. And right there, in that corner piece of my vinyl siding, I, uh, we uh, sat there and we kept seeing these bats come out and there was probably, shoot, close to probably 40 or so. We thought it was just cool. But anyway, we were just sitting there and uh, the longer the bats came out, the more we realized how cool it was. Well, laying in bed the other night, <laughs> we were sitting there and I said, you know what? I said, uh, if there's bats there, they're probably up in the attic. So. Lo and behold, I did some investigating, opened the attic door, uh, which hopefully tonight I can show you before they go out. And um, <laughs> yeah, there's bats in there. So I started doing some research, and even though I know bats are bad, um, for the house anyway, they're great for the environment, uh, I decided that I need to get them out of the house. Now, I come out here this morning and two mornings in a row, but basically, and I counted right at about 50, and I'm sure there was more, but. Uh, I'm going to show you where they're going in at. I'm going to show you the thing I'm going to be making to get them out of the house. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, I don't think there's any up there right now, but they're living right in there. They go up in there, actually. And the main spot that they go into is right there on the gable end. Right there. So, as you see right now, there's nothing. There's no bats currently right now and uh, on the other end too there's another uh, side piece uh, that goes up there beside the downspout that also on the other side has bats in it so I'm gonna be making uh, several different things to get rid of them now I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I'm doing it and what uh, products I'm using and just now started raining hadn't been raining all day but as soon as I get ready to make a video bam but anyway I'm gonna go to uh, true value here and uh, we're gonna get some materials to make this tell you the prices and uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it I've watched there's only a, probably a handful of YouTube videos that show how to make this so I'm gonna try to make this and show you exactly what it looks like and how to do it and get rid of these bats I mean here this evening I'm gonna show you them coming out and then uh so I got a little issue right there going on to fix that tomorrow too. And I got one on the other side. That one definitely has bees in it. I've seen the bees coming in and out of there. So yeah, that's where they're coming out though. Right there in the day. We're gonna fix all that tonight. Well, fix all that tomorrow and I'll show you what they look like tonight. Alright, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the attic. Now every time I've been up here I've seen about 10 or so up in the gable. I haven't been up here yet. I just now put the ladder down so we're gonna go up here and see I'm not gonna turn the light the light on oh yeah see him over there Whew. they are second turn on the brighter oh yeah so that is what I'm working with guys that's just some of them like I said, I'm going to go ahead and eradicate them. I'm not going to kill them because they do such an excellent job of pest control that it's kind of hard to justify killing them. But don't be fooled. There are many, many, many more. So, I can see the guano. I hadn't been over there since I found them. But, I will be... Uh, like I said, taking care of them tonight. They look kind of like chicken wings up there, don't they? So, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record, uh, just like kind of like a time lapse, but not really. And uh, when I see them come out, I'm gonna try to remember what time it is and let y'all know. So. I'm just gonna let it record because uh, it'll be any minute right now. So it's about 8:10 right now. So I think yesterday I saw him about 8:15ish. So we'll see what happens.
Okay, so it's 8.11, not very long after I started recording, and the first three actually came out. Uh, one came out from down on the eve, down in there that you can't see, but most of them are coming from the gable end, so let's see how many more come out. All right, so that's where the bats are coming out at. So in the morning, I'm gonna try to get up early enough to come out here and see, record them coming in. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my trap, well, my one-way door, rather, and uh, let them out. And then the next morning, I'll do something. I'll get up early enough to come out here and record them, trying to get in, and hopefully they won't be able to. So, all right, see y'all tomorrow. Okay, we are back out in the morning. Um, the bats are, coming I got up a little later than what I wanted to it's right at about 622 and you can definitely see the bats going in they are flying everywhere in the yard and there went another one so there there's two three four <laughs> sure you can see them it's misting right now rain so my gosh they are like everywhere flying around here So I wonder how many I missed by getting up late. Because <laughs> usually when I get home, right at, I usually get up about 6.15. There's see quite a few of them going in there. Last two days in a row, so. Um, I actually researched some more stuff last night. And there's two different ways I might do it. Um, still haven't decided which way, so. Uh, and I'll explain both them ways as soon as I get all the materials. Now, one way I got, um, I already got the materials yesterday, but then I thought about, well, what if I do like this? So, I don't know, we're gonna see. One way or the other, I'm gonna make the trap. I may make the one I was gonna make first, put it up there and see. If that don't work, then I'll make the other one. So, stick around, guys. All right, so we have got the um, mesh up there. Now, that was not an easy task. Let me, tell, let me show you what I got. So, you can see it looks like hell, but it only needs to serve one purpose, and that is to get these uh, bats out of there. Now I'm going to make this about this long, and if I had to guess how long that was, I'd say 15 inches maybe. Like I said, I've already cut this, so I'm going to go ahead and screw it up there and then cut my hole in there and hope to God everything happens. I'm also going to tape all my seams with this metal tape because I don't have any duct tape, and this stuff is probably better anyway. So I got all the dressing now. I was kind of hoping to make it look a little prettier, but... It is what it is. It'll work. I get these bats out, hopefully, and we'll be done. Let me show you. So it's all about the functionality, as you can see. I got my tubing right there. And one thing I read is you don't want to make the tape where they can get stuck on it. So there is absolutely no tape on sticky parts where they're going to be at. So hopefully they'll slide out that tube tonight and uh, we'll have uh, no more bats in there. I think when I was up there, boy, I could really smell them in there. So they've been in there a while. And you also want to make sure you close up all your eaves. I'm going to do that. I don't know how those things even got open. Probably the back, I guess. That one and the other one. I'm going to close both them up and uh, check back tonight. All right, so we got everything 
good and closed up. Uh, when I came over here, I heard bats scurrying around, so I had to put another little tubing here. So I put a little tubing right there, and I know that the bats, I think I showed you, they go up right here. So tonight, after they leave out, I'm going to close that up because that tube right there is the one that uh, meets the bottom of this. Point right there is loaded, 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 loaded with bees. Now, what I'm going to do tonight is right there where I'm showing you, I'm going to come up here and put a little piece of tip across it because that is literally the only piece that I'm lacking to make sure I close up everything in and on the bottom of uh, both of the um, angle pieces, I guess it is. Uh, we're going to check back tonight. Hopefully I'll see some bats coming out of that little tube. All right, so it's about the same time as it was uh, yesterday when I came out here. And I, see, I hear them, but I don't see them yet. So we are going to watch together and hopefully they'll come out. So they're coming out right there. Uh, that's the place I didn't, as you see, I did not get. But because of the bees, but tonight, oh, tonight, while they're out flying around having a good time, I'll be out patching that hole right there. Everything I've put up so far, they have not come out there. I've heard them walking around trying to get out, but I don't, I don't guess they can figure out how to get out of that hole yet. I mean, it's definitely a, a oversized hole, so I know it's not like it's undersized by any means. Well, we'll just let them all come out and uh, patch up tonight, and uh, that'll be that. They definitely figured out where to come out, though. All right, good morning. So, last night I um, chose to, there we go. I chose to um, finish covering up all the holes, you know, like I said I was gonna do. And I uh, saw some bats. Well, right at about 11 I came back out here and I climbed up there and I looked to see if there were any um, bats still in the attic. No, no, they all got out. So I haven't seen any flying around yet. It's always earlier than yesterday. But I know there's a couple. And I know that so far they have not been able to get back in my house. So let's go ahead and record and see what happens. Alright, so there's been a couple trying to get in up there. But they cannot. This is good. Hopefully it's... It worked. We'll see. So I don't know how much of the much it's seen, but so far I've seen about like six trying to get in there. Um, two just now, a second ago, obviously. And then uh, while I was setting the camera up, I've seen a couple more trying to get in. I believe I believe it actually worked really good, and that's very very positive. I don't hear them walking around up there, and I don't you know, because I didn't see any yesterday, which is just awesome. We just keep watching and see what happens. Well, it's definitely worked. There, I mean, I'm sure you can see them flying around. I mean, I could definitely see them. They cannot dig in. It has worked. Praise God. <laughs> they are flying everywhere, frantically trying to get in here. That's good. I have sealed off every hole humanly possible.
Definitely has worked. Definitely 100%. There must be at least, what, shoot, oh my god, 15, 20 flying around here at any given second. Hopefully they find a new home soon. I'm sure they will. So, just look at all of them flying around. <laughs> They're everywhere. I mean, I have definitely evicted them. They are, I'm afraid to go hit me. There's so many of them flying around. Every hole has worked. They're everywhere. If there ain't freaking 35, 40 flying around here, then there ain't one. That's so awesome. Glad it worked. Well, I think we did a good job, guys. Um, obviously, I'll have to wait until tonight to make sure. Like I said, last night, I went up in the attic, right at darkish, and there was a, anywhere from 6 to 12 up there. Uh, I waited till 11, 11 30, 12 o'clock. Actually, about 11 30. I went back up there. No bats in sight. So, and you saw this morning, well, I don't know if you saw every one of them, but I saw <coughs> like 20 or 30 flying around at any given time. Sometimes even more than that. I don't know where they went, but they're not in my attic. So, we'll check back tonight, and then I'm gonna finish this vlog out. All right, this is the moment of truth, guys. This will be the second night it's windy, so hopefully the microphone won't be so staticky. But we are here to watch the, uh, the bats come out, hopefully. Or, I mean, hopefully not, rather. And I don't hear any yet, so that's actually a good sign, so we'll see what happens. And, uh, we'll be watching. Okay, so I went up in the attic, and, uh, no bats. Went all the way to the end, looked, nothing. Um, didn't hear anything walking up there. So I think we're good. We just saw a couple fly up here. Um, and uh, they came to the window, or to the gable end, I guess. For old time's sake, make sure they can't get in. So hopefully we're, we're bat free. We'll know in uh, probably about less than 10 minutes. <laughs> all right, so it looks like we're having a party out here. But oh. no bats, right? Anybody see any bats? Other than the ones floating around in the sky. None coming out of our gable, none coming out of the eave. Everything is good and tight. Good and tight. So I'll leave that one right there. But yeah, it looks like we're gonna get a storm here soon, so. But there's a bunch flying around and uh, none coming out of the house, so I believe we're good. So guys, uh, I believe I'm gonna end this vlog now. Uh, I will check back with you in about three weeks. Um, I think they're supposed to leave that up there, from what I read, for close to 
close to three or four weeks, but I'm gonna leave it up there. Uh, probably three, actually, yeah, three weeks. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this here, and um, if they come back, I will let you all know. I will let you all know, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stand aside. And uh, if not, then uh, you won't see another video from me. But if you want any information on uh, what I did that you didn't couldn't figure out here on uh, watching the video, um, I will be glad to tell you because you definitely need to get those uh, bats out because uh, if you do not, I mean, it could cause a lot of problems in your house. You know, bad insulation, mold, and guano. So, all right, guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. Like, uh, God bless, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have a great day. What?